just go to google and then in google search online pascal compiler then it will load this name a results a results link online gdp this is more suitable one i will i work with few but this is the this was the one working for me so i'm going to use this okay after that after loading that this part is comment this curly braces indicate a comment you can write anything here blah 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 it won't affect because it won't compile compiler will ignore that you can just erase this part that is not required for the moment then start writing writing the code first you have to introduce the variable wow the first variable is n and that is integer only one variable in this program you can see only one n is of the only one variable here then i have to start with n so i have to start in colon equal one so this is the syntax basically this is the way you give it in pascal you can't say directly you can't say n equal one you have to say colon equal one then the while loop while n less than or equal to 20 do what to do you have to start here begin and write the code in print or write in and then you have to write space because i'm not going to write ln write ln will go to next line after writing write ln will go to the next line i just want to write in this line and add space after that then n colon equal n plus one n plus two and n so that's all then run and you can generate this simple as that please do this quickly then we can move to the next one feeling that's a different between uh, feeling and so when you write first one like this and run this if you get the real feeling of programming if you temp if you get the temper if you get that temper definitely you will try to edit this too and play back or run back and that will give you events and not only that you will make this hundred and try to make this long lengthier and try to print all the even numbers from two to hundred likewise you can do your own experience you can get your own experience you can do your own thing right that is programming right okay so next let me move to the next one and my next question was this print even numbers from print even numbers from 1 to 20 and the answer was if you started with two you can print the even numbers okay next question is a bit challenging than this so my next question please try for this please try for this please 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 try for this print square numbers from 1 to 100 i don't know where to start with and where to end and how to repeat and the condition so you have to decide and can you answer this question quickly i don't need to answer for the second one because it's easy so try for third one try to answer the third question print square numbers from one to hundred can you feel this and can you tell me the answers i'll give you one minute to think then tell me the answer i think you suggested me the easiest way just you can start with one and you can end with ten and step in actually you can go one by one and condition when this is square number the last or square number below 100 is the condition square numbers below 100 is the condition and how do you output so you can square it. square it means if this number is n 
if number equal n or n equal 1, you can output n square, n into n. That is the easiest way. You are correct. That is the easiest way. That means you can use the same thing, same thing, same one, same question, same like this. Let me copy. Copy and paste. So what you can do is, you can st start in equal one, correct? In less than or equal to 10, you print n squared and add one to n. Then it will go to 10. First time one, one into one is one. Two into two, four. 3 into 3, 9, 4 into 4, 16, 5 into 5, 25, 6 into 6, then 36, 7 into 7, 49, 8 into 8, 64, 9 into 9, 81, and 10 into 10 is 100. Because you can find exact gap between each, no? So square numbers are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, uh, after 25 you have 36, 36, then it is 49, then it is 64, then 81, and 100. So these are the scan numbers. Right. So you can print like that and you can print n by n and this one you are going to edit like this and I'm going to have one here. No, this will mean no need of having this now. Now you can understand how this works. And I'm going to print n into n and I'm going to add one of this. And in the real code, in what I can do, I can start with one and I can go up to 10 and I can print n into n and add one to this. If I run, it will print here uh, 1, 4, 9, 16. Okay, all the square numbers. So understood or not? That is easy, you know, rather than just taking this whether it's less than. So you know how it is generated, so you can apply that. So this is the code. And this is how you write. So still I have not uh, taught you, still I have not taught you uh, this uh, Pascal part, right? Why I am doing the implementation to motivate you to learn programming. I just want to show you that it is not hard, it is easy. That's why I am using Pascal code. But still I have not teach, I have not taught Pascal formally. So don't worry. Pascal Karla Nati Kati, Pascal Karla Manati Kati, why are you? So I'm going to teach you Pascal in next next chapter. I'm going to teach you chapter Pascal. Okay, so can you quickly write down? Draw this, write down this, and then we can move to the I can give the homework. Then after writing this, I can give the homework. And I'll I'll show this one as well. You can write down this one too. Can write this one too. Let me know after finishing, right here. The homework is this. As a homework, you do the same thing, but this time as the homework, you print triangular numbers from one to 100. You have to print triangular numbers, trikona sankhya. Print triangular numbers from one to 100, right? So that is the homework. 
So please do this and send me, if you can send me a WhatsApp screenshot or photo to WhatsApp. So send it to the group because it's motivating others to do the same. It's maybe you don't like to show or sometimes it's sometimes some students, they think that uh, I don't like to highlight myself, but that is okay. So please send it to, please send it to the uh, group print triangular numbers from 1 to 100. With that, I'll stop for today and good night. All of you, good night and see you all next week. Right. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, from one, right, from one to one. Okay, sir. Okay.